The U.S. spent over six trillion dollars this year, and all we heard about was we need more. We need more. We're going to starve without the stimulus. We need more. We need. And what did we spend all that money on? But if I were to give you a hundred thousand dollars today, where do you invest? Gold, silver, or Bitcoin? Explain, E.B. Tucker. Well, you mean you, you think my heart lies with gold, but what you don't know is I'm kind of a mercenary of sorts. I mean, I, gold is in a secular bull market. So what that means is when something's in a secular bull market, you don't really try to get involved in these ups and downs of small corrections. You know, you want to find things that are in a secular bull market. Let me give you an example. Um, when tech stocks started rallying a decade ago, should you have said after a year, well, I don't know, they don't look so, you know, like maybe maybe the most is gone from them. Maybe I'll pull my money out. No, you were in a secular rally and you just sit tight and you be right, sit tight is what they say, right? So we look at gold today. We were going into, you know, earlier in the week, the election, the uncertainty. We had gold gyrating and what was happening is they'd say, maybe Biden's going to win. Oh, okay, more stimulus. Well, maybe Trump's going to win. Oh, okay, no stimulus. You got to be kidding me. The, the real people on this market, the real people that know how to position were saying, it doesn't matter. Yeah. The reason why it doesn't matter is because stimulus, good for gold. No stimulus, bankruptcy lawyers are going to make a fortune. So, so basically you're in this scenario where these assets are going to go. Now, gold, silver, Bitcoin, I mean, let's pull silver back from that because silver is, is really a trading commodity. I mean, I'm fond of silver, but, but silver is not the kind of place that you put okay. like huge amounts of money. So let's just say gold and Bitcoin. And, you know, we're, we're going to be splitting hairs on kind of the same fundamental idea. And, and we can get into that deeper in a second. Well, I'm happy you brought up that point about gold because I interviewed, uh, you know, many people on, you know, if there's a Biden win or a Trump win. And I felt like I was repeating myself, you know, basically saying, does it does it matter? Because the landscape remains the same, same right? Trillions of dollars of debt, uh, no sign of QE ending anytime soon. This negative uh, interest rate environment we're living in all bode well for gold, correct? Well, I want to give people something that they can disrupt every dinner party they go to this weekend. All right, Perfect. there's 12 trillion dollars worth of gold in the entire world, according to Carol Assange's World Gold Council. That's all the gold ever mined in history. The U.S. spent over six trillion dollars this year, and all we heard about was we need more. We need more. We're going to starve without the stimulus. We need more. We need. And what did we spend all that money on? Dental shields. Uh, plastic coverings, airline bailouts, uh, checks to people so they could put the money into Robinhood accounts. Okay, that money's all gone. Forget about it. It's not coming back. Okay, so when people when people start thinking about this, ask yourself, what's going to happen next year? I mean, the federal government already is going to spend three and a half trillion plus, maybe more. And all they're talking about now is it's zero percent rates. We can just do MMT and talk forever. Now one thing here. I don't want people to think we're going in different directions. In my book, Why Gold, Why Now, I lay out these events are coming in sequence. So if you read the book, you know, you're not surprised by this. You know, you're going to have these things start happening like dominoes and you're going to have MMT. You're going to pay people not to work. You're going to have negative interest rates. You're going to have a digital currency. We lay all this out and it's all happening right in front of our very eyes. The question is, will you prepare or will you not prepare? Because people that do, see this coming and they're ready and many people don't and they're just confused with every single headline mm, okay so how are you preparing all right so this is an environment where things are happening very quickly as you know you know we're having scenarios that used to take months and quarters to play out are happening in weeks and you, you can get very confused if you don't have a plan so in the book at the end of the book i talk about what i've done with my net worth I feel like gold's heading higher to $2,500 by the end of the year, okay? We'll come back on in the beginning of the year and give you a forecast for next year because we'll, we'll know more as things sort out. You know, there's a lot of uncertainty in what will everything look like when people start getting a feel for legislative changes that are gonna be coming. You still don't know. I mean, you, even though you know some of the outcomes, you don't know exactly what will be possible. So we'll get a feel for that, we'll know what's coming. now. How do you play that? Do you buy gold you know, and, and, and make a few hundred bucks? I don't think so. The gold that you have is your insurance policy. Royalties offer a unbelievable chance to take advantage of a rising gold price. Now, 
with gold, it's, it's one set. People get tired of hearing about that. That's why I joined the board of Nova Royalty, which is capitalizing on the trend of, of the electrification of this new economy. So, I mean, copper and nickel are in high demand and royalty is the way to play it. I don't know a business in the whole world that's more lucrative than the royalty business. I, I, just, I just don't. And with Bitcoin, I found no way to play the royalty side of it. I mean, I visited the biggest Ethereum miner in the world you know, I, I still couldn't figure out a way to create a royalty on that, you know, so I ran into trouble. And, th and this should let you know why I ended up where I ended up with my investment portfolio. And so far, so good. We've had, you know, tremendous gains. I mean, Metal is up. It's been up a thousand percent, right? I mean, this is gold's up 50 percent, Metal up a thousand in August from its inception, less than four years. That's pretty amazing. Well, that's why, I, you know, and you mentioned Bitcoin before and how okay, if we take silver out of the equation, but I have a chart that shows Bitcoin, gold, silver from the start of the year. So I know I'm going to get those, those emails from those crypto folks saying, well, yeah. you know, how, how, how do you pick gold over Bitcoin? Okay, so think about this. With Bitcoin, you've got a $300 billion market cap, which assumes about 14,000. And then let's just say, you know, 21 million in Bitcoin. There's debates over how much of that Bitcoin is tradable and you know there's all this stuff here and there but it, it's about one uh 40th the, the size of the of the gold market you know which is 12 trillion dollars and so you can say from one side of the coin you can say this is a this is a serious opportunity mm -hmm. for for us